All right, we're going to check out the first episode of Griselda. It's like six episodes, and we're talking about Griselda. We ain't talking about Benny the Butcher, Conway the Machine, and West Side Gun, but bottom line is, that's cool too. No, nah, we're talking about Griselda Blanco. So let's get it cracking. Now, right off the back, she's about to leave her husband, Roberto, because something happened. By the way, she's in Medellin, Colombia, so she ends up calling this chick by the name of Carmen. And Griselda's basically going to transfer herself and her three sons over to Miami. So she gets down there. She's grateful for everything. And Carmen ends up giving her a job working at her spot. I guess she does, like, real estate or something. But Carmen feels sympathy towards Griselda because she had to go through some of the some of the same some of the stuff with her last husband, Rodriguez, or somebody. And I guess they just kept in contact for a while. So they're not even, like, family or whatever. I guess they're just friends. So while she's settling in, we find out she got, like, a kilo of coke in her daggone bag. I'm like, where'd she get that from? So later on, she ends up calling this dude by the name of Artulo. And I'm just like, oh, who is this dude? Well, apparently, she was, he was helping her out back when he was doing things with his uh, soon-to-be ex-husband. And she tells him her location or whatever like that. I guess he's the only person that she trusts. He wants him to hook her up with a guy in the area or whatever like that, get her started. Artulo tells him about some dude named Eddie. I guess Eddie runs shit, apparently. So she ends up going to this, like, club, right? And she ends up bumping into this dude. We're just going to call him Jay. She lets Jay know what's up, and then Jay's going to introduce him to his boss. I can't remember his name. We're going to call him Eduardo. The thing is that Eduardo is not really interested because he's already got, like, suppliers. And he kind of treats her like a housewife, tells her to go home or whatever like that. But in the process... She basically embarrassed Jay during this interview. So basically gets her to the car and basically just steals her coke and then punches her in her stomach. So she's out of her kilo. You think to yourself, what's she going to do? Then we get this flashback to her and Alberto being in the car. Now, here's the thing. They had lost a couple shipments on coke back then. So, like, they had to, well, Alberto was trying to force Griselda to do a certain thing, right? To pay off the debts. Because Alberto was kind of putting a no-win situation because of Fernando having, like, you know, saying top top level security, whatever, whatever the case may be, right? Bottom line, he solicited his wife to have sex with Fernando. And the crazy thing is, Fernando is his fucking brother. That shit, wow. So I don't know how she knew about Jay's whereabouts, but she was able to keep following him around and shit. Jay comes out the spot. She ends up beating him with a fucking baseball bat until she forces him to get him in touch with a supplier. In between all this, she met some dude that was a cook that just happened to be Colombian. And then she says she's going to pay him like $200 to pretend to be a bodyguard for her. <laughs> like, what? So then we see her going back to work for Carmen. All of a sudden, Jay comes in there and lets her know everything is set. And then Jay says out loud, yeah, ready to sell some coke and do that thing. See, the thing was, Carmen didn't know she was on that shit again. So she basically felt like she was lied to. And then she's like, wait a minute, you got kilos in my house? So by the line, Carmen's going to be out of her house by tomorrow. Griselda's going to be out of Carmen's house by tomorrow. You know what I mean? So she got to get some shit jumping off now. So Griselda and the bodyguard are lined up. They're getting ready to go with, uh, meet up with Jay so they can meet up with a supplier. Turns out they're meeting Eddie. Eddie runs one side of town, Eduardo runs another side of town, but let me continue on with this. She's trying to sell the whole brick for 25 Gs. But the thing is, Eddie's got his own shit, so he's like trying to finagle the price or whatever like that. Bottom line is, they end up selling for 20 Gs. Now, while they dancing and celebrating because Eddie wants to dance, all of a sudden, some random dude comes out of nowhere and starts banging off of niggas. Everybody gets fucked up. And then right before this dude gets Griselda, the freaking bodyguard bangs off on this dude, gets some done deal daddy shit. Then we find out Eduardo was the one that sent the goons in because his bodyguard comes in there and takes the coat and then tells Griselda, like, hey, go home, lady. He took the coat, but he ain't take the cheese. So as she dips out, we find out the bodyguard's still alive, too, and then he dips out. And then she gets back in the car, and then we got this flashback again. So she basically did the deal with fucking Alberto's brother, and then she gets a ride from this dude to get to the club spot to meet up with Alberto himself. Then he asked her if she liked it. I'm like, word? She felt disgusted even doing this shit in the first place. The only reason she did it is because the payoff debts. Then she said, fuck you, I'm done with this life, yo. I'm getting up out of here, da, da, da. They got to arguing, and it was like, all right, see if you can handle this shit on your own. And she's like, I can. And all of a sudden, she pulled out a gun, just banged off on him, and killed Alberto. I was like, oh, shit. So now we know why she had to get the fuck up out of there. So now we get this scene. We go back to the club where she's talking to Eduardo again. And then she tells him, look, just try the coke. Of course, he tries it now. He's like, yeah, it's a pretty good grain, great, good quality. Now, we find out she was selling coke with Alberto for like a decade. She knows the ins and outs of a certain profession. You know what I'm saying? So she kind of talked to the mentor. She was like, look, we got, we got a shipment coming in. You get one shot. And I'm pretty sure one shot is all she needs. And that's episode one for you. So get your Benny Conway and West Side Gun on for these six episodes of Mayhem Land and Smackdown like it's supposed to be. Say, Griselda on Netflix, bitch. Check it out.